Hello Makers. In this video we will present to you successful startups which are based up on Arduino microcontroller. Without wasting time let's get into it. Number 1. Zero Gravity Garden. Zero Gravity Garden is Arduino-based advanced project which is made at Imperial College. This project will increase the yield of plant by controlling environmental variables or factors. Hi, I'm Ollie Thompson, a student at Imperial College, and I built the Zero Gravity Garden. The Zero Gravity Garden is a hydroponic system that consists of six beds of plants that rotate from the inside of a circular drum. At the bottom of the drum, they're dipped into a trough of water. Plants usually grow away from gravity, but now they don't know where the gravity is pulling them, so they grow outwards rather than upwards, and this increases the yield to volume ratio. With Arduino you can connect almost any electrical device you can think of. You can sense, in my case, temperature, pH and humidity and then do interesting things with it. In my project I use an Arduino Mega because it has lots and lots of output and input pins. I really like Arduino because it allows me to connect lots of different sensors and actuators very easily. And there's a large online community so inevitably when you encounter problems and you need to debug you can always go online and it's very likely someone's encountered the same thing before and is able to help you out. Just start messing around yourself and, and, and figuring things out and before you know it, you'll be really comfortable with it. Number 2. Reactive Shirt. This project is focused on fashion design sector, they used Arduino board to make fashionable reactive shirts for their clients. I'm Claire, I'm designer and engineer of research at Center for Research and Interdisciplinary in Paris. My background is in fashion design at Dupéré and uh, industrial design at NC in Paris. I used Arduino for four years. It's a very cool board to learning and prototyping. Thanks to that, I'm really comfortable uh, in electronics and programming. Thanks to this board, Lilypad Arduino, I make my first project in e-textile. Number 3. Sign Language Translator Glove. MIT students make American Sign Language Translator to help deaf peoples to communicate with the world. They used Arduino microcontroller and they won a technological competition prize for their incredible project. Hello. My name is Thomas. And this is Nabid. We are inventors in the Lemelson M. I. T. Student. Prize. Competition. The gloves work by utilizing sensors on the hand and wrist to measure hand position and hand movement. The gloves then send this data to the computer via Bluetooth for processing. Once the computer recognizes and interprets the sign, it then outputs a corresponding word or phrase in text and speech. If you were to say, hello, I'm well, thank you, it would look something like this. Hello. I'm well. Thank you. And just like that, we've translated American Sign Language into spoken English instantly. Number 4. Pipeline Project. In this project, a man called Christoph make his own machine using Arduino board. The machine is used to change unwanted pipeline into fashionable chair. Hi, my name is Christoph Matchett. I'm a product designer um, doing domestic products and furniture. And I often create my own tools to achieve my products. I like Arduino very much because it helps me to go from an idea to a working prototype and even further from a working prototype to an actual production tool. I've been first introduced uh, to Arduino in 2011, back when I was studying my master at the Royal College of Art. And um, I never really got to use it until very recently when I've built this machine here. What I like to do um, is to use these unwanted, unsexy materials and turn them into something uh, more exciting. So this is the pipeline project and here I'm using um, these giant sewage PVC pipes and I turn them into um, this furniture directly cut into the pipe. So this is the, the first chair we've designed. Um, and this is the part I actually cut with the machine using Arduino. So this is the, um, just the backrest on which I connect the legs and um, the seat itself. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.